What's going on YouTube? Jonathan Wright here with Tactical Toolbox. And today guys, I got a special review for you. I've got the AIWB Plus from Stealth Gear USA. Um, I didn't even really ask them uh, for this to review. I just left them a comment on uh, their Instagram page when they posted up the picture of this. And I said, hey, I would love to review one of those. What do we need to do to make that happen? And they replied back within minutes, I would say. Just like, all right, let's get you hooked up, brother, so you can review this holster. This is Stealth Gear's answer to a problem that a lot of people find. A lot of people, let me grab this one, have been using the Kydex AIWB holsters. And I ain't gonna lie, this one's still my favorite compared to this one. But um, whenever I do these product reviews, I've, I've kind of learned I need to review the product for what it is instead of for what I want it to be. And so that's what we're gonna do today. There is a few things I don't like about this holster, uh, even though it's uh, despite my bias of what I like. So there is a couple of concerns I have with this, um, but this remains my number one favorite, redlineconcealmentholsters.com. Um, I uh, coupon code TTB10, if you, want, you guys wanna get 10% off with uh, Redline Concealment Holsters, but we're not here to talk about them. We're here to talk about the Stealth Gear. Now, I like this holster. Um, it's very nice. This is a hybrid appendix IWB holster, and it's meant to be worn right in the front, just like so, so you can still get your extra mag, and you can still grab your weapon. Now, there's a couple of things that I don't all right, there's only really one thing that I don't really like about it, and that is the one clip design. Now, a lot of people like the one clip design, but uh, I find that it moves too much. And some people like that when they're um, using a holster, but I don't like it. And number one reason why is whenever I'm practicing uh, concealed carry, um, drills. I always practice drawing from concealment and getting my shirt out of the way, getting a proper grip on the gun and pulling it and presenting it. And what I find is with single clip holsters, uh, the grip will be in a different location every time you go to grab it. So for example, you know, yes, it moves with your body and that aids in being comfortable. But when it tilts this way, you might go to grab it and all of a sudden you can't grab the uh, the grip because it's not, it's like, Ugh, I can't get you. But, um, or if it's this way, you can't, you can get too much grip. So with this holster though, I find that it is very, very, very comfortable. Um, it's made of Kydex on the front and then on the rear, it's made of their synthetic vent core technology that allows you to breathe with your holster, um, cause that's kind of a, something that a lot of people don't like um, in the summertime is they get a little sweat spot where the holster rides. And this breathable technology definitely does work and it's padded as well. And I love the padding and I love the breathable technology. I just really wish um, they went with a two clip design to put one right here. And I did talk to them about that and they said, hey, we can send you another clip. and. I was like, don't worry about it. I got clips laying around. So I added a clip and it definitely, definitely um, improved the stability of it. So it didn't sway one way or the other when I uh, draw from concealment. Now, my third, uh, my second, I guess, dislike about it is, as you guys can see, I have my gun cut for a red dot optic. I typically carry with that red dot optic every single day. I took it off so I could do this review. Um, and that's my second thing that I don't like about it is they don't have an option for red dots. And so don't get me wrong. That's not their goal here. Their goal isn't to cater to the guys who are carrying with red dots. I get that. And it's not easily, um, it, it, you can't easily manipulate this to fit one. Yes, you can cut the front here of the Kydex, but the rear of it here, um, even if you did put the red dot in it and you cut the kydex, your body would push the buttons, at least on my red dot, it would turn it up and down, on and off. So, but other than that, 
For what they designed this for, it is amazing, guys. Uh, it conceals very, very well. And uh, I don't have any affiliations with Stealth Gear. They were just really cool and said, hey, you want to try out our new IWB Plus holster. So this is their new flagship model for 2016 uh, going into 2017. It is very comfortable. I, I will say that. Um, I still, like I said, though, I still prefer these Kydex models just because uh, they kind of, uh, you know, I can do what I want with them. Oh, yeah. I have one third thing that I don't like on. I like to get these claws on everything, on every holster that I get. And these grip tuck claws here um, really help with concealment and they push the grip into your body. And if you're a thinner guy like me, that's the main point of printing is the grip sticking out. And I was looking at these and I asked them if they were planning on implementing a claw and they said, not at this time. Yeah. Now it is comfortable. It just doesn't conceal very well on me because the grip kind of sticks out. And then pair that with an unpredictable location of the grip when you need to draw from concealment and it's not for me. Now that doesn't mean it's not going to be for you guys. Um, like I said, it's amazingly comfortable. You get to have an extra mag and it breathes with your body and it will move with you if you like that, you know. Um, for me, I like my holsters to stay where I put them. I don't want them swaying back and forth. I want a grip tuck claw that pushes the grip into me and I like the option of having a red dot. I know the red dot thing isn't the biggest deal in the world because most people don't carry with a red dot, but it is, it is cool to have that option that you get with Kydex. Which one is more comfortable for me? Aside from grip claws and red dots and clips, which one is more comfortable? I'm gonna say, guys, it's a tie. I know, it seems weird. Like when you look at these holsters, seeing how hard they are, you kind of like, that can't possibly be comfortable. But I promise you, it is comfortable. Now this one is just a tiny bit more comfortable because of the uh, cushioning. But I did find that, uh, right here this little edge right here it gave me a slight bruise after a while which is weird because i never got a bruise with this one and i expected this one to be really uncomfortable and like i said it's still the reigning champ of my favorite holsters and uh but guys like i said this is an awesome holster i think they're about 134 dollars from stealth gear usa and they got a myriad of different color options i mean fde gray you can get different color backings you can get Multi, you know, you can do it how you want. I mean, just going through their site, I've probably seen like 16 different color options for these. So that is awesome. Um, this is my first Stealth Gear holster I've ever tried. A long time ago, when I first started conceal carrying, I had a Galco King Tuck that I wore at the 430 position. And I really wanted to try theirs because the Galco, to me, yeah, it was a great holster and all, but that, the leather really does make you sweat. So I wanted something breathable, but I couldn't ever get myself to spend the hundred dollars or so on their uh onyx i believe it is and then back in may in june redline consumption holster sent me this and i haven't carried another way since then i haven't carried strong side always appendix because it's so much faster for me i mean it's not for everybody guys like i said go check these out this might be a good option for you like as long as you um if you can conceal carry now without the grip tuck claws, you'll like this. Um, if you're not running a red dot, you will like this. It's great. And it does exactly what they say it will do. So guys, that's my short little review of this. I've been testing this out for about a month or so. But like I said, guys, I've been running the Vortex Viper, which I got a review coming up on this very shortly. So stay tuned for that. But in order to test this holster, I have to run my old style irons, but like I said, guys, um, Stealth Gear isn't trying to be the grip tuck claw people. They're not trying to be the red dot guys. They're not trying to be, you know, um, two clips. Their goal is comfort and they have achieved that goal with this holster because when you have one clip, the gun moves with you more comfortable but at the sacrifice of not always knowing where to grip your gun. But with that said, guys, 
Be sure to go check out our Glocktober giveaway, guys. I'm drawing the um, winner on November 1st. And I got a video, put a link in the description for you, but just a quick rundown. You're gonna get a free custom work done to your gun. Stippling, slide work, Cerakote, half off of a Vortex red dot with a coupon code and quite a few mag plates and some other goodies and holsters. And there's a holster in there from Redline Concealment Holsters as well, guys. But anyways, thank you so much for uh, watching our reviews, guys. Thank you for all of your support. And as always, guys, God bless you and take care.